This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. The possibility of life on Venus, or at least in the clouds around it, has seen hopes of discovering we're not alone in this universe soar. NASA's boss, Jeff Bridenstine, says it has to be their priority to get a probe back to the planet and find out once and for all what's there. But what about our other neighbour, Mars? Well, it's not being forgotten. A team of British researchers is recreating conditions on the Red Planet to test out a new rover they're helping design that will seek out new life there. And they're doing it in Dorking. Our tech correspondent Mark Blunden's with me. Mark, I've been looking at this rover that's going up in a couple of years, and these things, they seem to have a personality of their own, don't they? This one looks a lot like Wally from the Disney movie, and the Dorking team's been designing that head, particularly its eyes. What are they up to? This might make it look as though the rover has a personality, but without anthropomorphizing this robot, it's the cameras that are the important part of the technology. The panoramic camera, or pancam, will capture 3D and macro shots to sniff out traces of water in the air and rock. That will inform where to drill down two metres below the crust of the red planet to grab samples. Now, Mark, I've been to Dorking, and it's a lovely place. It's not really where you expect the brutal conditions of a desert planet to arise. How are they doing that? The optical instruments were heated and frozen to minus 120 degrees centigrade, then shaken up in a lab simulation nicknamed Shake and Bake, which simulates the rigours of launch and the nine-month, 140 million mile rocket journey through space to reach the Red Planet and the rover's final descent by parachute. So when's it all expected to happen? Uh, The launch, which was delayed by two years because of problems with electronics and parachutes, is due to take place from Kazakhstan in 2022. I think this is all very exciting, but does it feel like there's going to be a breakthrough in the search for life soon? It probably won't be Marvin the Martian anytime soon, but learning more about the existence of water, frozen or otherwise, on Mars will be key to understanding what similarities exist between Earth and our nearest neighbour. Professor Coates told us that the surface of Mars now is very harsh, but 3.8 billion years ago it was what he described as a much nicer place About at about the same time life was developing on Earth. So this rover mission will add to the knowledge of how well evidence of any potential life signs such as this have been preserved. Search for the leader coronavirus daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.